Cybersecurity is growing at an incredible rate and cybercrime is on the rise globally, with an estimated cost put at $23.82 trillion by 2027. Nigeria's rapid growth as a technological hub in Africa has also brought about the significant challenge of increasing cybercrime. Exclusive Networks is a globally trusted cybersecurity specialist for digital infrastructure, helping to drive the transition to a totally trusted digital future for all. And speaking during the inauguration of its first physical office space in Nigeria, after 15 years of virtual operations, Managing Director, Exclusive Networks Africa, Mr. Anton Jacobs, emphasized the enormous opportunities untapped in the cybersecurity space in Nigeria. He urged businesses to invest in solutions and back up their data because ransomware threat was far from over. I think as a business, ransomware, um, which is where they come in and take over your information and want to sell it back to you, I think the number one thing for small businesses today is backup. If you back up your data and put it off site, you really don't need much in terms of security. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that in, in, in terms of that do that, but uh, you know, if, if the one thing that you do is back up your data and take it off site, if, you, if you're attacked and taken over, you can replace the hardware and reinstall the software and you're back operational very quickly. The challenge comes when you're into enterprise or businesses as directors of companies, you're held accountable for brand loss, for information and those kinds of things. So it's a very different status or stance that organizations need to take. And the responsibility is quite onerous on directors depending on the company that you're in. So the decision making process around that is more around um, teaching your staff, uh, implementing the right technologies at endpoint and on the network and in the data center, and ultimately being held accountable for the business's brand. And I think what happens is a number of people are targeted because of the inexperience. Um, they receive messages which they don't recognize or um, understand and they go into them, which then obviously creates a, an area for them to be, a, to, to be attacked or um, what we call fished or fit spear phishing. And people assume other people's identities and intercept payments and those kinds of things. So I think in reality, um, your first step is the, is the individual or the, the person that needs to be educated and then technology can assist. The challenges that we have here in West Africa is not very different to anywhere else in Africa. Um, it's how we overcome them together, first of all, um, how we help end customers achieve their goals. And then ultimately coming from a global company today, it's about what we can put in place that we've learned everywhere else and help on a local scale uh, or on a local level to, to implement and help businesses. It is important that uh, we take cyber security um, very, very seriously and uh, we need to invest more into cyber security because the losses that you get when you get attacked is way, 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 way more than you can actually, you know, um, uh, envisage when all these things happen. So if you look at uh, the investment that we put in place um, as a cyber security uh, solution, is very minute as compared to the losses that we make from, let's say, uh, data losses, and then, of course, trust and breach of confidence and uh, so the banks, the likes of the, the telcos and all those things, they are doing everything possible to make sure that, you know, they don't get all these uh, um, challenges. Some of the partners also called for the need to create awareness on threat and opportunities available in the cybersecurity space. Globally, we are still in the formative age. Um, but I'm sure that some um, attempts, especially from uh, what we are seeing recently, um, some of those, the caliber of people that are putting into digital space and the government at the federal level, these are practitioners, people have been in the private sector. We are very hopeful that there is going to improve, significant improvement in that space. Um, I think Nigeria needs to take its rightful position to be a digital hub and to be a strong player in the cybersecurity space. Exclusive Network has been operating in Africa and Nigeria for over close to 10 years. But I think coming into open office is, uh, for me, I think it's more of a commitment to the region and to provide better support um, and to increase the level of um, presence and their support to other partners. The, the opportunities in the cyber security space is enormous, actually. Especially in West Africa, it's still untapped. It's still very much untapped. We have a lot of opportunities across the country 
And um, what we do most times is to create the awareness for people to know and for people to be aware that yes, they need to do this and to understand the nature of the new trend of threats and attacks. The more they get to understand that, the more they will see the need to imbibe the culture of security within their environment. So I would say the opportunity is enormous and it's huge. And of course, uh, for the future, it's going to be um, a very good one for the prepared uh, people. And I see that Exclusive is on the right uh, path for that.